If you're looking for true wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation and great bass on a budget, then the Orki T18NC are a solid choice. But at $140, are they the best bang for your buck? What features do they lack that you can find in earbuds that are probably a third cheaper? Are they really the best alternative to AirPod Pros? We'll stick around because we're gonna be finding out all the answers to all of those questions right now. Don't forget to check the affiliate links in the description below for all the latest prices as you never know when they might change. I was sent these by Orki in exchange for my honest opinion, so that's exactly what I'm gonna give you guys, pros and cons included. So let's get to it. Hey guys, hope you're still staying home and staying safe. It's Mark here, and I'm back to review some more affordable tech in my quest to sort the god tier from the garbage and hopefully save you guys some hard-earned cash. So let's find out if the Orki ANC True Wireless earbuds are worth it or not by starting with round one, build quality and design. The main headlines here are Bluetooth 5.0, an IPX6 water resistance rating, USB-C fast charging, touch controls, wireless charging, mono mode so you can use either earbud independently and active noise cancellation. But stay tuned to round five later in the video to find out two things that they are actually missing that I would like to see at this price. Now, as with all Orki products, the build quality is absolutely on point here with a matte plastic finish on both the earbuds and the case, pretty much matching up with the expectations I have at this price point. The chrome detailing of the Orki logo on the case and on the earbuds finishes them off really nicely too. On top of that, Orki has pulled yet another innovative design out of the bag here. Whilst the case isn't the most compact I've ever seen, it's lightweight, and fortunately, design-wise, the sliding lid here is smooth, easy to open with one finger, and it does click back securely into place when it's closed. The charging indicator inside the case is nice and bright, letting you know how much juice is left as well, and you've also got a button on the side to put them into pairing mode. The one thing I was a little disappointed to see is the overall size of the earbuds. Don't get me wrong, the main body that sits in your ear isn't uncomfortably bulky or anything like that at all, but come on, did the stems really have to be that long? Because when compared to AirPod Pros, it's clear that these are more comparable to the size of original AirPods, which I'm not especially pleased about in 2020. So I'm going to drop a kind of hesitant 7 out of 10 here for build quality and design. It's all plastic, but it does feel great quality. And in my opinion, they do look and feel like a high-end product in almost every way. But as I said, I do love the design. It's completely unique. You won't find it anywhere else. And I personally love it, but I just wish it was a little bit more compact. And I wish the stem of each earbud was a lot shorter. Then I'd be ready to drop maybe even a 10 out of 10 on these. Round two is all about battery life and the T18NCs are pretty formidable when it comes to longevity in a single listening session. On a single charge, you can expect six to seven hours battery life, which sits well above average compared to other options at this price and a lot higher as well. With the case factored in, you're then looking at around 24 hours playback overall before you'll need to recharge them either via their USB-C port or through a wireless charger. So. I think that's fair to say it's another 7 out of 10 here for battery life because it's pretty decent, but you can find better battery life at $50. The Tautronic Sound Liberty 79s, for example, you can check that video out at the end of this. So there's nothing to get too excited about here in terms of longevity. In round three, I'm going to rate the T18NCs on how securely and how comfortably they fit or not. As with all earbuds that have an AirPod like stem, I actually find them to be pretty comfortable and with these I experienced zero signs of ear fatigue even after an hour's listening. But as a slight payoff for the stem design it does mean they're not the most secure fit in the world but fortunately because they're so light I've had no issues with the earbuds being at risk of falling out and I actually did achieve a great seal with these no problems. 
Definitely try all the ear tips that come in the box before you make your mind up though, as the ones that come as standard are pretty large and my girlfriend couldn't even get them to stay in her ears. They just literally kept falling out like some people get with the original AirPods design. So that's an unexpected eight out of 10 for fit and comfort. After trying a lot of earbuds with wingtips that they fit really securely, but I do get ear fatigue then after an hour, it's been quite refreshing to try these. And honestly, it's easy to forget that they're even in your ears. You might struggle with these if your ears are particularly small, but for me, these were almost perfect. So here is a mic friend test of the Orki T18MCs. In my opinion, it's pretty clear. Let me know what you think in the comments below. However, if I stop talking for a second, you can actually hear some kind of background static constantly, which is actually pretty uncommon with true wireless earbuds. So that's a little bit disappointing, but either way, we are going to introduce some background noise now to see how my voice gets picked up when there's some background noise in play. So here it comes in three, two, one. So as you might hear, it picked up the background noise quite ferociously for the first few seconds. And then as it go, as this recording goes on, it just kind of drowned it out. So you can hear it in the background, but it is largely reduced. And actually my voice is definitely the main focus of this recording. So in terms of noise reduction, I'm pretty impressed, but the background static was a little bit of a nitpick for me. So that's gonna be a seven out of 10 for microphone quality. The noise reduction won all the points here and will definitely function very well for calls in busy environments. But to me being picky, I had to deduct a point for that annoying background static. In round five, I'm gonna rate the T18NCs in terms of functionality and usability, starting with audiovisual lag. Sadly, the audiovisual lag is pretty savage at around a solid one second delay, meaning I can't really recommend these for YouTube, Netflix, or smartphone gaming at all. Now, I did say they were missing a few features that cheaper earbuds either do offer or are starting to offer, and the support of AppDex codec is one of them, which could have really helped to resolve this issue. The Bluetooth connection offers great range and an instant pair every time I remove both earbuds from the case. Of course, you can only pair them to one device at a time, so if you are gonna be switching, say, from your phone to your laptop a lot, you're gonna to have to manually put them into pairing mode so you can then pair them to your new device first. But of course, that is pretty common at this price point, as I always say. Connection-wise, things could be better. Um, I've had no real major issues during my two weeks of use, but when I cut my hands over each earbud so they are completely covered, it causes the connection to begin to drop from the right earbud, which is never a good sign for a strong, reliable connection, so bear that in mind. The ANC here is especially awesome considering the price and definitely miles better than the standard passive noise cancellation you'd get with any true wireless earbuds out there. So yes, it is definitely an asset to these earbuds. And though it's not quite as powerful as some of the high-end ANC earbuds, it does definitely take the sting out of those low frequency noises like plane, train, or bus engine noises. We've also got touch controls here and rightly so at this price point. And whilst they are insanely responsive to a very light touch and you can turn ANC on and off using them, unfortunately you can't use them to control volume which is yet another thing that you can easily find in cheaper true wireless earbuds, again, around $50. Of course, we've got wireless charging here, which is great, but for me, there's just too many little flaws in this particular section of this review. So it's gonna be a five out of 10 from me for functionality and usability, because with no volume control on the earbuds, some audio visual lag, and a bit of a weak Bluetooth connection, the only points salvaged here are for ANC, responsive touch controls, and wireless charging, and I know what's probably more important to me. The sixth and final round here is probably the most important of all. I'm sure you've guessed it by now, it's sound quality. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the notification bell as well, because in 2020, I'm on a quest to uncover the best affordable tech that I can find, and hitting that button is the best way to come along for the ride. 
Also, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I post loads of Photoshop edits of everything I review on the channel. And go drop me a comment on my latest picture if you want me to review something in particular because that's generally where I will read them and take your suggestions, so let me know. Okay, sound quality. The sound signature here is bass boosted without a doubt, just like most Orki earbuds are, offering a full deep sound that I instantly liked. It actually feels like a sound profile you'd expect to get with any high-end Sony product, basically thick bass with the mids and highs to back it up. So for rap and hip hop, vocals offer exceptional clarity and bass is punchy without sounding at all boomy at any point. The T18NCs probably offer one of the cleanest sound signatures for this genre that I've heard in a long time. During rock and metal, highs are a little recessed with the mids and bass dominating the soundscape. That means high notes are pretty quiet against chugging power chords, bass and kick drums. Even though this sound signature gives rock an awesome, heavier, thick sound, it does also mean that I kind of struggled to pick out supporting lead guitar melodies in most tracks. But with the T18NC's thick bass and mids, movie soundtracks and classical music sounds full, rich and warm. Highs don't get pushed into the peripheral of the soundscape here either, like they do with rock, meaning you get a solid impression of a full dynamic range of sound. Soundstage here is okay, nothing especially great, with everything basically feeling quite funneled through mids and bass by default. But when listening to movie soundtracks, that is where the soundstage is at its very best. Overall, it's an 8 out of 10 for sound quality from me. Everything sounds great on these earbuds. And despite being bass boosted, the T18NCs don't go towards that kind of boomy, overbearing bass at any point at all. So, final score time and overall, the Orki T18NCs scored a 42 out of 60. That's 7 out of 10 on the dot. The pros here are an awesome design that you won't find anywhere else. Great fit, decent mic quality, a full rich sound quality, wireless charging and active noise cancellation at probably the lowest price I've seen ever. The cons here are the case is a little bulky, there's audio visual lag, no volume controls on the earbuds, no Aptex codec and a slightly questionable Bluetooth connection. When compared to cheaper options like the Lipotec Tevis I reviewed not too long ago, you're paying a hefty chunk extra purely for the privilege of active noise cancellation and it might not be worth having it if it comes at a trade-off with all the cons that do come with these earbuds. But if the cons here are real deal breakers for you, these probably aren't the buds for you, but needless to say, they are still serious contenders to AirPods Pro and if you must have ANC, these are probably the cheapest way to get it. Now you've watched this video, you should definitely check out my review of the Orki T10s here, which have a very similar sound signature, but no long stem. So that might interest some of you guys. Or you can click here to check out my True Wireless Earbuds playlist and just binge through all my reviews of everything recently. So pick one of those and I'll see you in the next video.